and I'm your mother's worst nightmare. And this is Movie Talk. Today we're going to review the movie Paranormal Activity 4. It's the follow-up to the first and second movie five years later, when Katie stole her nephew and killed her family. A sister, a sister's husband, a husband. And now moved next door to a seemingly innocent family to terrorize them. What did you think? Don't waste your time. Absolutely horrible film. First of all, it's the slowest moving thing, and by the time it starts, it's over. I mean, terrible. What did you think? I, I did Can not, I call you Chris? I didn't like it. I liked the old school horror movies where there was a killer. Were, were it scary? There was nothing scary <coughs> about the film at all. And I mean, you know the best part of the movie was watching the previews for the other ones. Hansel and Gretel, Witch Killers. I mean, that looks cool, you know? Yes. Yeah, this, I mean... <sighs> The paranormal franchise from day one, I never liked the idea, okay? I mean, yeah, Steven Spielberg, he pulled a wild card buying that thing for whatever it was. Ten grand, you said? No, that was Tim that said that. They spent five million dollars doing Paranormal Activity 4. And I honestly think with Hellman, if he was here, he didn't make it tonight, we could do that for a hundred thousand dollars, that same film. I mean it was so basic, makes me want to do one if that's you know where it's at. But like like Tim was telling me, thirty million opening weekend on that pile of garbage? It's ridiculous. It's, it's what's wrong with our youth today. It's just <laughs> like the music industry. Yeah, the, and, the bands today don't live up to the bands when I was younger. Yeah, I didn't know what was more... So I don't know what's gone wrong with the horror industry. That's what teens yeah. are scared of now and like. You know, what, you know what's really cool, uh, you know, hanging out with you, you know, like we're pals. You haven't yeah. killed me yet. That's nah. really cool. But on the radio this morning, uh, they said for Halloween costumes for like six-year-old kids... All right, it used to be superhero, you know, I want to be Spider-Man or a Fireman or whatever. Now, their serial killers are zombies. That's the, the craze. And it, it has to be with video games and, and you know, what's going uh, on. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, obviously there's not going to be one kid ever in the world that's going to be some character at a Paranormal Activity 4 because it was stupid. I mean, it uh, was... You don't need a costume for that. You just stand yeah. there with a blank face. Yeah. They uh, could always say you were there, but they didn't. They couldn't see you. I mean. Oh yeah, because they're ghosts. Because they're ghosts. Yes. That's a good way to get out of a party you don't want to go to, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing I don't get about this found footage craze, um, you know, there's nothing to it. I, I've done my own found footage films. I don't show yeah. them to people because. Well, see, that's exactly it. I don't see, want them film, saying, "Where's this, Where's this guy?" He went missing what did you look like ago? was first year college students and you've in got theater of them. making a, a you know a class project? That's what the thing looked like to me. I mean, and you know, and bravo for them. You know, I mean, the, they they're making money on this stuff. What yeah. is what is your weapon of choice? If I were to release, I use a baseball bat. I use knives. Oh, really? It's a yeah. it's a multitude of different whatever's available. Yeah, whatever's available at the time. Whatever's best for a funny line. You should, oh, really? Like yeah. so, when you're out shooting pool, you'll grab like a napkin dispenser and smash somebody's head in or something. If it if it gives me a good line to use, then I will. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Whatever is the best line. Yeah, like you know, I'll, I'll wipe you out or something. Yes. Yeah, that'd be a good one. I miss the old days when it was like Freddy Krueger, Jason Voorhees. Yeah. You know, um... Scary stuff. The Expendables movie is popular because it's returning to the old days of action. Yes. I think they should do an Expendables horror movie with other classic killers. Leatherface, yeah. Jason... Oh, bring Freddy. them all together? Yeah, they, I could, mean, they, they could play cards they together. Did the, and the, well, they did yeah, Freddy grab versus Jason. Grab your chainsaw. Let's go. Let's go. They did some Freddy people. versus Jason a few years ago, and that was good. Yeah. Why not get like eight or ten of the classic killers? Yes. That would kill at the box office. Yeah. I mean, we don't need a movie where watching <laughs> people make dinner half the time. Yeah. Well, I could definitely make a better movie than that, than I have. I just yeah. Don't need the police snooping around. Yeah, that's true. But they'd be looking for permits and then finds, you know, like a leg or something or maybe somebody's yeah. ear. So I'd give the movie a one star out of five. Oh, wow. I give this uh, a point zero zero eight because you would have to be legally drunk to enjoy it. That's my rating. Oh, 17, 16 years old. Oh, that's point oh eight, isn't it? I haven't been drinking. 
That's my problem. Maybe it's just that you're getting too old, I guess. Yeah, I am. It's out of touch with the youth. You can't call this horror. It wasn't horror. Absolutely. It's not a horror film. Uh, it's, is it a drama? It's teeny bop horror, I guess. Yeah. It's, it's like, teeny bop horrible. It's like calling it's, the new kids on the block rock and roll. This is the same supernatural effects that they use in Paranormal Activity 4. And then just cut to it. <laughs>